The national standards for accommodation offered to people in the protection process were introduced for implementation by the Minister for Children, Equality, Disability, Integration and Youth in January 2021. They provide a framework for the delivery of consistently safe and effective services to all people living in international protection accommodation centres. The purpose of the national standards is to ensure the services provided are rights-based, person-centred and of a high quality. As an IPAS service provider, you are expected to operate in compliance with these standards. To help you with this, HICWA have developed a self-assessment and quality improvement tool as a simple and effective way for you to determine your compliance levels. This video will give you a brief overview of the self-assessment and quality improvement tool and how to complete it. The self-assessment and quality improvement tool is a user-friendly, editable PDF document that can be easily completed on a computer without the need to print anything out. It covers all 10 themes of the national standards. Completing the document can help you to identify the things that you are doing well and to prioritise areas which may need improvement in your service. It is a quality improvement initiative to enhance the services you provide so that people living in your accommodation centre experience a safe, comfortable and supportive environment. The document is divided into two sections, the self-assessment questionnaire and the quality improvement plan. In section one, you will have the option to select one of four judgments for each of the standards. The four colour-coded judgment options are compliant, substantially compliant, partially compliant, and not compliant. You should begin by carefully reading the description of the standard before critically deciding which judgment you think would most accurately reflect your service. Compliance would mean you are satisfied you fully meet the requirements of a standard and that no further action is needed. Substantially compliant would indicate you meet the majority of the requirements for this standard, but that some action is needed to be fully compliant. Partially compliant means you meet some of the requirements but not others. While this may not currently present a significant risk, it may present moderate risks which could escalate if left unaddressed. Not compliant would mean the standard is not being met at all and that there is a significant risk to residents. After selecting a judgment, you will need to provide some context for your decision. If you selected either compliant or substantially compliant for a standard, you should outline which initiatives or measures you have in place to meet the standard. If you selected partially compliant or not compliant, you will need to outline why you feel the service is failing to sufficiently meet this standard. Once you have selected a judgment for each of the standards and provided context for your decisions, you should move on to section two, the quality improvement plan. In this section, you should outline the actions you intend to take following your self-assessment as well as the person responsible for ensuring that the action is completed. For example, if you selected partially compliant for standard 5.2 because there was a limited choice of meals for residents with specific dietary requirements, you may decide that an appropriate action would be to carry out a survey of residents in relation to their dietary needs and develop a menu based on what they told you. You should assign this task to an appropriate member of your team and set a deadline for taking the actions you have outlined. You should not return your completed form to us at HICWA. Your completed form should be used internally as a way for you, your managers and your team to reflect regularly on your service, decide which changes may be necessary and measure the success of any initiatives aimed at improvement. By doing so, you will also be better prepared for a visit from HICWA inspectors when the time comes. Your completed document may be reviewed by our inspectors during the course of an inspection of your accommodation centre. To help you assess how well your service is performing against the national standards, HICWA has prepared several documents which we recommend you read before you complete the self-assessment questionnaire and quality improvement tool. These are our assessment judgment framework and our guidance on the assessment judgment framework. You can also access the national standards which are published on the Department of Children, Equality, Disability, Integration and Youth's website.